Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As Tracy bid farewell to the ITV serial, the actress was spotted exiting the set. Coronation Street viewers were shocked when Tracy Barlow, who had been riding shotgun with Tommy Orpington for over 20 years, finally stepped out of the van. Just 47 years after her on-screen birth in an episode of Weatherfield in January 1977, viewers of the ITV soap witnessed actress Kate Ford, who played the controversial yet beloved character, bidding her farewell. Although Kate didn't take up the part until 2002, in that time she has dealt with numerous plot points, including the cold-blooded murder of her ex-boyfriend Charlie Stubbs and the drugging and pretending to have slept with Roy Cropper before she found out she was pregnant. But earlier this week, Tracy left the street after saying goodbye to her family. Viewers of the long-running drama will recall that after her infidelity with Tommy, a former footballer, became public knowledge, Tracy recently divorced Steve McDonald. But Tracy felt devastated and abandoned when news spread that Tommy, a former player, had taken a coaching position in Spain. After hearing that she should be axed and never make it big in Hollywood, the Coronation Street heroine Daisy reacts. F or MMR, check out our other Coronation Street articles here. Unbeknownst to her, Tommy had already written to Tracy, asking her to move in with him. Steve had intercepted the letter and burned it, so she had no chance of trying again with him. With the truth having outed, Tracy dumped Steve again and pressed on with her plans to go with Tommy. Ken Barlow planned some leaving drinks in the Rovers. After that, she then hugged it out with her nearest and dearest outside her family house and departed the cobbles with Tommy in his van, possibly for good, before being seen by a devastated Steve as he left Dev's shop with a pack of beers. As Tracy's exit aired, Kate, who has yet to clarify her soap future, took to social media and uploaded a mysterious photo on her Instagram story. The soap star uploaded a snap of public transit, which featured the destination of Orpington on the front, in an apparent hint to her character Tracy's new love interest. However, it is more likely a play on the name as it's also a neighborhood in Southeast London and fans may not be aware that Kate actually lives in the capital with her son and commutes between there and Salford where the Cory set is based. As indicated before, Kate wasn't truly the first person to play Tracy. The daughter of Deirdre and Ray Langton and the adopted daughter of Ken Barlow was first portrayed as a baby and toddler by Christabel Finch until late 1983 before Holly Chamoret took over the character from mid-1985 to 1988, with Don Acton following in the 90s. Kate really had a taste of the spotlight at the age of 19 when she participated in the music video for the Beatles' song Free as a Bird in 1995, where she can be seen during a 1960s street scene. She then picked up small parts in programs including one-episode appearances on EastEnders and Doctors, before becoming the fourth actress to play Tracy. Away from the ITV serial, Kate has had to undergo her own trials and tribulations, including when her marriage to TV producer John Connerty broke down. The pair, who had one son together, Otis, married in 2007 before divorcing in 2015. In an interview with The Son, the mum of one, who previously dated BAFTA nominated actor Bart Rispoli, who had a brief run on EastEnders for a short while in 2000, stated that the split was incredibly painful, but performing enabled her to move on. When John and I first parted, it was quite hard to put my personal life aside, she explained. We really tried hard to make it work, but it came to the point when we knew we had to get a divorce. Things had changed, and it wasn't what it was, but it was really painful. For a period after we parted, I found it hard to get out of bed. I wasn't at work at the time, and I'd drop Otis off at school and go back to bed till I picked him up. But then it became therapeutic to concentrate on my profession. People call it doctor theater. When you're acting, you can't worry about problems. Meanwhile, the soap actor also suffers an ailment behind the scenes. Kate suffers from endometriosis, 
an often painful illness in which tissue comparable to the tissue that normally lines the interior of the uterus develops outside the uterus. She spoke up to her Instagram fans last year, sharing a selfie in her ITV filming jacket. Writing to her thousands of followers, Kate said, Filming hashtag IvCory, this was a few weeks back during a time that I was dealing with my hashtag endometriosis. She added, Luckily got lots of support X just sending a hug out to all those struggling with similar, followed by a red love heart. Kay had previously highlighted her endometriosis during the first coronavirus lockdown in 2020, when she tweeted, As someone with grade 4 endometriosis, I know how much I rely on my massage therapy to deal with this. Due to COVID, I've not been able to visit my therapist for three months. My body feels aching. I'll never take this therapy for granted again exit. Meanwhile, the soap actor also suffers an ailment behind the scenes. Kate suffers from endometriosis, an often painful illness in which tissue comparable to the tissue that normally lines the interior of the uterus develops outside the uterus. She spoke up to her Instagram fans last year, sharing a selfie in her ITV filming jacket. Writing to her thousands of followers, Kate said, Filming hashtag IvCory, this was a few weeks back during a time that I was dealing with my hashtag endometriosis. She added, Luckily got lots of support X just sending a hug out to all those struggling with similar, followed by a red love heart. Kate had previously highlighted her endometriosis during the first coronavirus lockdown in 2020, when she tweeted, As someone with grade 4 endometriosis, I know how much I rely on my massage therapy to deal with this. Due to COVID, I've not been able to visit my therapist for three months. My body feels aching. I'll never take this therapy for granted again next. Meanwhile, the soap actor also suffers an ailment behind the scenes. Kate suffers from endometriosis, an often painful illness in which tissue comparable to the tissue that normally lines the interior of the uterus develops outside the uterus. She spoke up to her Instagram fans last year, sharing a selfie in her ITV filming jacket. Writing to her thousands of followers, Kate said, Filming hashtag IvCory, this was a few weeks back during a time that I was dealing with my hashtag endometriosis. She added, Luckily got lots of support X just sending a hug out to all those struggling with similar, followed by a red love heart. Kate had previously highlighted her endometriosis during the first coronavirus lockdown in 2020, when she tweeted, As someone with grade 4 endometriosis, I know how much I rely on my massage therapy to deal with this. Due to COVID, I've not been able to visit my therapist for three months. My body feels aching. I'll never take this therapy for granted again exit. Meanwhile, the soap actor also suffers an ailment behind the scenes. Kate suffers from endometriosis, an often painful illness in which tissue comparable to the tissue that normally lines the interior of the uterus develops outside the uterus. She spoke up to her Instagram fans last year, sharing a selfie in her ITV filming jacket. Writing to her thousands of followers, Kate said, Filming hashtag IvCory, this was a few weeks back during a time that I was dealing with my hashtag endometriosis. She added, Luckily got lots of support X just sending a hug out to all those struggling with similar, followed by a red love heart. Kate had previously highlighted her endometriosis during the first coronavirus lockdown in 2020, when she tweeted, As someone with grade 4 endometriosis, I know how much I rely on my massage therapy to deal with this. Due to COVID, I've not been able to visit my therapist for three months. My body feels aching. I'll never take this therapy for granted again exit. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.